there was three three types. We did the the uh, patrol where you were looking for the enemy, and the other patrol was a fighting patrol where there might be 15, 20 fellas armed to the teeth and looking for a, a German or Italian patrol to shoot up if you saw them. But, uh, you know, the, the other patrols, was, if you heard anybody, you used to estimate how many were in the patrol, whether you could attack them or not, you know. But the other pilot patrol was a listening post where different members of the platoon would uh, go out through the barbed wire entanglements and we'd sit around like a, they called it a sanger, which was like a semicircle of rocks up about two feet high, and you'd sit there for a couple of hours and then someone would come and replace you. But I can remember, I I was only a, my brand gunner, but uh, the fellow I was with was, was a platoon sergeant, and he was from the same town as me, and uh, and we were sitting there, pitch, pitch dark, and uh, all of a sudden, uh, we both got a tap on the shoulder and we spun around quick and there's two Gurkha soldiers and they said, uh, uh, Australian soldier, very good. <laughs> and we didn't even hear them, you know. And they withdrew their knives and uh, apparently uh, if a Gurkha withdraws his knife, he's got to do a cut on his arm or his hand and uh, just to signify that the knife has been withdrawn. And, and eventually uh, they left us and uh, and invited us, if we ever get back to their unit, they invited us for a cup of tea, which we eventually did, but the cup of tea was only about a tablespoonful and a little tiny cup and very sweet with sugar and stuff, but uh, it was very good and you got to meet them. You know, Some could speak really good English and others who had to try and understand what they were saying, but no, it was wonderful to know them, yeah.